Hello everybody, I'm Ostentatious and welcome to Amnesia, the Dark Descent. Normal, hard mode, enemies will spot you more easily, tinderbox is no harder to come by, auto sick is disabled, and saving your game costs tinderboxes. Uh, I'm gonna stick to normal mode, because I like being able to save the game. Yes. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am... Daniel. Is that me talking? I'm Daniel. He's trying really hard to not to forget some of I don't know why. Oh. Is that flower petals just floating on the ground? Memento has been added to your journal, Jay. Mementos. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. The liquid trail? That doesn't look like blood. Is that Pepto Bismo? Heartburn, diarrhea. Uh, I forget the rest. Oh. Tin boxes. Okay, that was a tinder box. So I can use it to light stuff. Come on, give me the candle. Oh, that's dumb. The whole reason I picked that up was so I could carry it around. Or lit it, I mean. Hello? Oh, why am I on the floor? Why am I... You okay, guy? What is happening? What was that about? No, no, hold on. What is happening? Hold on, less mouth. And in order to move the door, press right. Oh, I've already been doing that. Right mouse to throw the door open or shut. Press right mouse to throw the door open or shut. tripping out why am I all like cockeyed like I'm, I'm walking around like okay, get, grab a center box how was there a gust of wind there's no windows in this thing drink some alcohol grabbing an object for a spray mouse to throw it hold R, move to mouse to rotate, hold R. Okay, okay. Throw it into the fire! Oh, it, it breaks. This is kind of cool. Alright, more tinder boxes? Yes, thank you. So I kind of wasted my one tinder box. Open. Oh, 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 oh. I heard footsteps. Hey, buddy. Oh my god, your head came off. I, I was not expecting that. Okay. 
I don't know why that freaking scared the crap out of me, but I'm, I got a head now. I got a head in life. No. Oh. Hello? I got a helmet! No, I, oh, I am Oh, what is happening? Why am I on the floor? Stay back! Okay, so... I think I drank too much Pepto Bismo. Or whatever that pink stuff is on the floor, and that's why I'm following it to see what the hell happened to me last night. It was like the hangover. Hello. Oh. Don't. I don't need you to tell me where to go. It's dark and creepy. Let's go in here. God, I, I I don't like you. I'm gonna take your head just in case. <laughs> Why do I have heartbeat? What and what are you heartbeating? What the hell? Stop it! Hello? Yeah, let's go in here. No! Fuck that. We're good. Good. Hello? Open. Open. It's darkened. Beware. When sanity... When standing in darkness, your sanity will be slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment using tinder boxes or search for other sources of light. Oh, the handmaid. Must have dropped it when I was freaking out. Wait, is there something behind the painting? No. Okay, just making sure. Is he re Trying to tell me to go in there. I guess they could spook me. Butthole. Hello? Okay, who? I'm pretty sure this isn't blood, because blood is red, not pink. Did I miss something? Oh, what's that noise? I hear stuff behind me and I don't like it. I'm not wearing this backwards, am I? No. Oh! Witness unsettling events will reduce your... Okay, that was unsettling. Oh. Oh, I thought there was someone peeking her head. Hello? Is it flooded in here? No. What is happening? Stop! Are you freaking out because there's bugs? Calm down. Hold on, guy. All right, let's get out of that room. Why do I hear something crawling in around in my head? The ambiance. I love the creepy ambiance. Oh. Stop! I don't want to be blown anymore. Oh, what is that? Oh, a nice hole. What did a meteor strike hit this house? Okay. Stop moaning in my ear. Come on. <laughs> All right, got a lantern. Oh, I didn't know that that could open. You have picked up a lantern filled with oil. F. Ah, oh, okay, cool. I'm gonna save it. I can't see. That's what the lantern's for. Okay, nothing else in here. Let's go. 
Hello? Oh. Oh. Okay, must be that. All right. All right, we're fine. Just a little tremor. It's fine. We're fine. Let me turn this off. I don't think I need it. Hello? Can I hide in a closet? Get out of here. This is my hiding spot. Wait, do I need a hide? Is hiding a function in this game? I, I, I swear, as soon as it tells me to start running, I'm going to be like, well, this is where I start getting chased now. What? Oh, there's paper. Ooh, oil. Yeah. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Okay, so I understand. He, this is us talking to ourselves. So we drank a potion, it sounds like, that gave us amnesia. This is the name of the game. Whoa. I'm gonna beat the hell out of someone with a chair. I don't like how dark it is. So we gotta fight this. We gotta find this. I forget what his name was. We gotta find this person and murder him dead. Why? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Hold down left mouse and move the mouse in the direction you want to move the lever. Oh. I don't like when you do that breathing in my ear thing. <laughs> Shh. Don't hiss at me. Tron oh, my uh, left shift. Great. Now I know how to run. Oh. Alexander, is it inside the castle? Yes. In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. Let's go see. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Get out of here. Screw this place. All right, fine. We're not. Can I smash this bug? They won't stop hissing at me. Ooh, oil. Cool. Oh. What is that? Ugh. I don't like that sound. Is that blood? What is this? 
Can, can I beat the crap out of it? Ugh. Ugh. Okay, it doesn't do anything. Where'd my chair go? Where'd my chair go? It stole my chair. What the hell? The door ate my chair. How dare that door? That was my trusty chair. To click on this game, there is a rose symbol. Like, to start up the game, so... I'm assuming those are rose petals. Fabricria Aliquatoria. More of the flesh. It is tough and pliant. It can't be torn by hand or tools. Tough and pliant. Okay. What is it? Is it? It looks kind of fleshy. Is it? Is it just? What is it? Laboratory. Why does it sound like there's hyenas in here? Oh. Why, why is the mansion hauling at me? Howling at me. Why? What is this? Oil. Star. What the hell? Am I, am I just going insane? Is that what the deal is? Why do I have a heartbeat? Stop that. Why is there kids crying? Why is something eating the inside of my brain? Stop that, please. You're fine. Oh. Oh. Uh, there should be more Kubrak. And one part aqua force. Uh, uh, <laughs> is that me talking or is that someone else? A note. The l you're gonna. S oh, you're not gonna read it? The lack of chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experience has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. You can quickly check the most... Okay, okay. J. J for journal. <clears throat> Mementos. Chemical ingredients have been moved to the laboratory to the wine cellar. So I gotta look for the wine cellar, I assume. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be? Oh. So is that what we're doing? We're getting the chemicals to make something that can dissolve the... the fleshy wall membrane thing. Can I, can I light this? Oh, there's a cinder box in here. No, I can't. Chemistry pot. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are given it and that cuprite binds them well. This time I'll attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis and hope it will produce a more even solution. That sounds like a... Uh, a brand for some kind of soap or something. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly at, that's what we're looking for, I think, right? We want to dissolve something and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. Is that organic tissue that's like uh, blocking my path? I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Okay, stop crawling in my ear. 
Less mouse to holding uh, to, Okay, yeah, I already know how to do that. Oh, you're not gonna read it to me? One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. That, and that's not, I don't, that's not a good thing. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. So you think you're better than everyone else, huh? Who's, who is that talk? Is that, that's not me, is it? Do I think I'm better than it? This is a false chest. I can't open it. Okay. Oh, another one. I can't see. There is no oil left. You need to find oil potion. You use my lunch. What I found, I, found, I have at least three things of oil. I remember. Inventory, I, uh, what's tab? You yeah, see, I have oil right here. Health, health is all good. A slight headache. Continue, contains all notes. Okay. Wait, what is this? Oil. Used to keep lantern flame alive. When it runs out, the lantern can be no. Okay. I don't. Uh, that is so weird. Okay, let's fill it all the way to the top. There we go. Now I can use it. Can I open this? Oh, I can. All right, sweet. Okay, I think we're done here. There's nothing else to be hit. Done. No more lanterns. All right, let's go up. Let's get out of here. That, that room over there, it keeps howling at me. Can't go in there, but, uh, we can get out. The other children cheered him on. His name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. What did he do? He do some... Ma'am? Ooh. Am I saving a damsel in distress? Is this the, uh, is this Bowser's castle? All right, we're just gonna go this way. Do I go to the voice? Ma'am, it won't budge. Do I need a hammer? What is that? What am I looking at? Oh, that's a spider web. I was like, I was tripping out for a second looking at that. Which way do I go? I'll go this way. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones at Consult Consultant Petite. <laughs> okay. Whoa. What? Ooh. Hello? Someone breathed. I heard it. I don't like. Can I crouch? Oh, I can. But I can't go in there. Hi. Why am I so short? Get out of there. Stand back up. Can I jump? Oh, I can. Okay. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. 
Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Oh. I don't know what to say to that. All I'm thinking about right now is those things that keep crawling around. Oh, stop that. Okay, fine. We'll find some light. We'll find some light here. You happy now? Nothing in there. Gets out of my way, chair. I have yet to see any enemies and I am... It's... I'm kind of wondering what's going on here because you told me how to run. So I thought I would find an enemy by now. Something to start chasing me. I hate that I can't carry these around with me. Although I got a lantern, so it's fine. No, open up. Okay. Can't read that one. Oh. Uh, uh, hello? Who is gargling in the next door? 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. I was trapped. I, I will admit, I, I, I will admit I got distracted. I wasn't paying attention to any of that. Uh, I'm gonna blame the cat. Go ahead and blame the cat. It's totally the cat's fault, not mine. Shirt, can't wear it. Ah, uh, we don't even have legs. Probably don't even have a body. We all we have is this hand that just exists. Sometimes. Stop. Ah, oh, tinderbox. Ouch. Gratity. Gladity. Cat just clawed me. No, stop that. Oh. Get out of the way, chair. You'll be my buddy now. You'll protect me, right? All right. Oh. Oh. Can I like this? Frick you! I didn't even throw it! Just... Why? Okay, let's get the lantern out. Oh! Hold on! Strange. 
piano in the background? Or who's playing a piano all of a sudden? Let's turn it off. Oh, it's too dark. Hold on, hold on. I want to find all the secrets. Tinderbox! Tinderbox Tim! I need a tender box. It's locked. Okay. Well, I found the piano. Oh. Oh. What? What? Why am I tripping out? Why? Don't tell me not to play the piano. Oh, I can't play the piano. That's lame. Yeah, let's turn that off. Wait, did I come from here? No, I didn't. Did I? Oh, I did come from here. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did. Okay, so let's go. Let's head back. And go this way. Hello? This is the Gurgle Meister. Who's gurgling back here? Okay, I think we're fine. I think it's just. It's in my head. It doesn't exist. Cat, that's my nipple. Cat. Please, what are you doing to me? She's clawing my shirt right now, and it hurts. Stop it. Oh, uh, I don't like that sound. Okay, there's light in here, we're fine. Stop freaking out. Ooh, chest. In the box. You're really preparing me for something. Who's playing the piano? Ghost! I want to play the piano. Let me play this thing. Come on. All right. Was there anything else in here? Ah, tinderbox. Stop, cat. I'm trying. Oh. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. The servants. was not part of this building. You can't tell me what is this? That doesn't even make any sense. These rocks are bigger than that hole. Yeah, I, I, okay, I guess. Cat, stop. Every time I move the mouse, stop. Why are you doing this to me? Ah. Oh, we're tripping out. What is, oh, we're, oh. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Oh. Do I have 
to. It was waiting for me. I know. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. What if I what if I go off the path? Oh, sad noise. Alright, fine, we'll go into the light. Don't lay on the keyboard, cat. You're gonna mess up my game. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. All right, so we're trying to... I imagine we're gonna have to find this relic again, right? Why are all the cats in here? Oh, more drawers. Oh, I already searched it. Never mind. Okay. Bradshaw, but not breakable by hand. Okay, let's find something. Oh, helmet! It's perfect. Oh, come back here. Bam! Oh, I am so strong. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. Okay, so that was that a clue? You uh, pick one. If you pick the wrong one, you start over. Ah, oh, break the glass again. Okay. This one's oh, it's already broken. Never mind. I didn't hear it break, so I thought it was. As uh, and Brennenberg Castle. I I can't say that. Another region rich with lore and astit, <laughs> deep within the Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. The quiet forest-clad mountain, the quiet forest-clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes and a picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local, and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twist on the late tales. But there are some notifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time to the Thirty Years War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years, described them as horrid revenants. They move silently throughout the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks drawing behind them which reveal their presence. What dark schemes do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Outlast at the story of the 16th century. He resided in a local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, the prominent members of society paid notice 
and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the Northwest Glades only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some 10 years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy harmlet in the woods and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron The Baron of Brandenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Alstadt. And like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring have never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived throughout the time of occupation, and joined the Order of the Black Eagle, along with the great leaders of this country. God dang it. Which one of the cats muted my mic? Ah, oh, wow. That's so dumb. So dumb. Maybe I do a voiceover of this section. That's yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Dude. Oh, is there an order? Is there another book? Oh, there is another book. Okay, so I got those two going. Is there is there only three? Now what? that I can hide get out of here oh fuck you're not you don't exist you're not real oh all right well that was fun I I really enjoy everything about this game. I enjoy the ambiance, the uh, the story behind it, it, it just the feel of it. it. Although I haven't really, besides the spooky uh, breathing and everything else going on around me, there hasn't really been anything chasing me. Kind of looking forward to that. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.